What's up guys and welcome back to my channel where we learn, do, and talk about photography until we are sick of it. Uh, today I'm going to talk about some exciting new moves that I'm making with the, the business side of my photography. I've, I've moved into a, a studio office space, so uh, I understand this is probably way more exciting to me than it is to you. Uh, I've, I've been uh, moving in and working here for the past couple weeks, recording that process and struggling with like, how do I make this interesting? Because uh, at the end of the day, this this is an office. It's it's inherently and intrinsically uninteresting. And maybe it works best for me because of that. So because you guys do tend to be my colleagues and fellow photographers, uh, uh, either as hobbyists or uh, considering pursuing photography as a profession, I'm gonna try to make this video as, as useful and valuable as possible. Uh, by telling you uh, what the benefits uh, have been for me of working in a dedicated studio. Um, maybe giving you a little privy into like the business side of my photography, which I don't talk about very often. And then I'll also give you a, a little gear tour of the office. We'll look at the equipment, how I have it set up, and uh, talk about some uh, creative project ideas that I have uh, in the office coming up on the channel. So do you need a dedicated studio or office? Let's talk about it. So my photography business, such that it is, is sort of bifurcated. Uh, you guys are familiar with uh, what I do with landscape photography, and that's not especially lucrative. I'm I'm proud to say that it is self-sustaining, and you know I sell prints and workshops and uh, tutorials and things that pay for my camera gear. So landscape photography is fun, and I think it's really important, but it doesn't it doesn't pay the bills. So uh, for the last couple of years, I've been uh, taking you know the equipment, the skills, the experience that I've gained from doing landscape photography and translating that into a service that can be helpful to the small business community. Uh, so for that, I, I mostly do uh, product photography and videography, uh, about us videos, uh, photos for websites. So I wanted to mention that first, both so that you understand what I'm using this space for, and also so that you sort of can imagine uh, all the gear that I'm about to show you strung out all around my house on folding tables every time that I would get uh, a, a request for a product photography job. I was wasting a lot of uh, non-productive time setting up and tearing down gear between every job. And, uh, and of course, there are the distractions that you would probably be familiar with working from home. So I really thought that having this space would be beneficial both to do studio work in, but also as a better place to meet with clients. And of course, a place that's more sightly than my house uh, to share with you guys in my uh, tutorial and social media presences. So I will show you how I've got the studio set up, how I'm putting it to work, and then we can talk a little bit about uh, sort of like indoor, anyone can do it kind of creative projects that I love to share that I have in mind to do here in the office. But first, let me show you maybe my favorite part of the whole office. And I know you haven't seen anything in here yet because I'm just so proud of this. It's a blank work surface. Uh, I've wanted this in my house forever, but you know, it seems like there's so little room trying to move things in and out and move things around and get around things that yeah, there's just not a blank space where I can think and work and lay things out. And this has been fantastic for that. Actually, check this out. This is going to work. This table raises and lowers. Wow. Okay. What else we got? Organizational space. How about that? I don't just have all my equipment and stuff stuffed wherever it'll fit and is out of the way. This is uh, really convenient to get to. This is actually like the messiest, the messiest my office has been in a while. I didn't take any trouble to clean it up, by the way, before I started recording this video. And this is still 10 times more organized than it would have been in my living room and my kitchen and my bed. Say I, say I want to build a setup. Throw it over here on the table. Maybe I want to throw a prop in. That looks good. Cool. And I can just, you know, really hone in and get creative uh, using this organization. I charge my camera batteries down here. Audio recording gear. I don't know what's in here, actually. I think it should. I don't know. Microphones and stuff. Okay, cool. Moving on. I'm generally keeping my camera equipment just right here in this Pelican case. Bodies, lenses, extension tubes. And then it's, you know, if I have a job, because I can't do every job here in the studio. When I have a job where I have to take out on the road, it's just close it up and ready to go. Sometimes it's cold in here. I have a hat. Drawers, a, a hand light, a uh, little props and things, candles, these. Gee, follow me on TikTok. You'll see what I use these for. I, all the kinds of things that usually I would have to run around my house to try to find stuff that I don't want the building managers to know that I have. Product turntable.
Is it a toy box? Yeah, maybe a little. Okay, this is just where I keep stuff. I'll show you where I use it next, which is on the other side of the office. You'll see I've got my light set up here to use in the video. It's right in your face. I think I use the Aperture Amaran 100D, so 100 watt cob light in a soft box with a grid on my computer. Why am I orange and yellow and deep? Canon, come on, white balance. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I just use a MacBook hooked up to a monitor. Uh, Rockstar Energy, gotta have it, the two for $4. Uh, over here, I've got a 32 inch cube uh, product photo box. Light. So it's great to put products in where you've got control of the light so I'm not fighting the light from the window and uh, those terrible orange ceiling lights. So yeah, so if you wanna see like what, what I use the product photo box for, mystery things like this, be sure you're subscribed. I have all kinds of content that I've already recorded that will be coming out shortly, uh, just unleashing my creative energy on this poor, poor little room. That's the studio. That's the whole thing. What are we like 10, 10 by 15 by 20 feet tops? Uh, how much space do you need? I'm gonna find out. All right, so that's the tour of my modest studio slash office. I hope you enjoyed and you'll consider subscribing and coming back. This is like a big step for me, right? In my measly little photography uh, career and ambitions. But you know, if you would enjoy following along and seeing what I make of it, I would appreciate your subscription. Drop a like on the video if you just liked hanging out with me. And uh, until I see you guys next time, you keep an eye out and a foot forward. And thanks for watching. In 2021, I took a course that was provided by our State Arts Commission. Uh, it's sort of like business training for artists. Today, I'm going to get my office. Finishing up my last job here for my home studio, and today, today my project is to move all of this equipment into my new office. Okay, yeah, just like you to make more work for me, okay.